formerly St. Louis, formerly St. Louis, formerly Los Angeles, uh, defeated the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, it was like they played this thing right away. They were like, Doctor Strange, Moonlight, let's go. They got the they got the game going. They got the ball rolling on it. Before we get into the details of it, were either of you, Steve, let's start with you, satisfied with this trailer? Well, yeah, because, you know, it, it, it left me with more questions uh, than I had going into it. So I like that. It, it's, it piques my curiosity. Um, how much of it ties into the spell that he did in Spider-Man No Way Home? Um, or is it something unrelated that we haven't seen yet? I don't know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, just trying to sit there and watch a, watch a trailer and you know, pause it a little frame here, pause it a little there. Who's that? Who's, who, who do I think I see? Um, you totally had me going when you said, uh, you know, with, with the, the joke about the Tom Cruise uh, as Iron Man. So I was like, oh, did I miss something? So I went back and played it for like 20 minutes trying to see if I got something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm really, I'm really excited. Doctor Strange isn't a character I'm normally pumped about, so for me to be this excited, they've done a really good job with that trailer, and yeah, I'm, I'm game. I didn't even. I don't know why I was so like, oh, maybe we'll get some Star Wars stuff. I did not see this trailer <laughs> even coming. I did not see it coming. And then for uh, for them to reveal as much as they did, dude, I am I'm blown away. It makes you think, what and, didn't they reveal? Yeah, and you just brought up the strange spell, and it's like every single villain, every single villain that knows Spider-Man was coming through. That is a lot of timelines. And, you know, when the whole spell like collapses and everything, you know, he, even though he claims he fixed it, like right from that moment, I was like, OK, that's a problem. <laughs> like, so, yeah, I think it's very ironic that Stephen Strange will be the ultimate causation of this potentially, because we all thought it was Peter Parker. To go yeah, off wonder... topic just a little bit. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, go on. I was gonna say, does it tie into the Loki season finale when when, when things unraveled there? Because I, in my head, I thought it was going to, but after watching the trailer, I don't, I don't see if it does or not. What is the threshold? What is the threshold that Kang didn't know about, or claims he didn't know about when he was like, "Oh, we crossed the threshold," and now he literally like didn't know what was gonna happen next. Mm -hmm. So why does his? knowledge of that part of a timeline just ceased to exist is that the spell they tried to cast that changes everything is well, it yeah, man is it wanda doing her thing in in, in multiverse of madness and is that the first yeah. a lot of points that there's so many different points in time do you guys think that this might start off with strange doing a spell because of the spell he did in Spider-Man. He's like, oh, well, maybe I can do this on my own and figure something mm. else out. And that's and that's what escalates the multiverse now. It's like he closed it for real in Spider-Man, but he's so arrogant that he's like, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it this way. I like that. And I'm not going to yeah. have this kid ruin it. And that's what snowballs this this whole thing. Or maybe yeah. he's he could even notice little things that are just off. Like, even though they cast the spell, mm. even though everybody forgot Peter Parker, like, are we really supposed to? Is that a natural, like, does the TVA show up? Like, you know, who knows, man? I am, I think they're obviously trying to misdirect us. You know, they're showing us things in the trailer they want us to see. Yeah. But because of time and the way they can manipulate it, like, it could be the first 10 minutes of the movie that we just saw there. <laughs> So do they throw Patrick Stewart in there just as a red herring, or is it actually going to be Xavier? That that was my my question from it because I, I don't trust anything at this point. And I was thinking, who else could he be? Is Wanda taking him through illusions? You know, it's hmm. a lot. That's a that's an interesting theory right there. I think that uh, okay, the illusions aside, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh, Patrick Stewart is playing. The leaks would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying like. Let's yeah. put like on the back burner. I'm just saying, I, I think that that is that is Professor X. I I because I look the Wandavision the the boner joke in Wandavision was the a cardinal sin of all cardinal sins of story. Like they just lied straight up to the audience and deceived us for no reason other than they were like, "Ha, we can do that." 
I don't yeah. think they do it again, and I don't think they would do it on a scale on a theatrical scale. You've got, if you're going to bring him in, it you got to bring him in. It doesn't mean he has to be the Professor X going forward. I'm not saying that, but he's going to be a Professor X. So let's talk about this stuff now, Scotty, because I know you're chomping at the bit, Steve. Well, I know can you're we, excited. Can we pause we're one gonna, second? We're going to uh, pause like Nintendo. Professor X real fast, because they are bringing back the animated series. Yeah. I don't think this... I think this Professor X could be the animated Professor X, not the Sony Professor X. So that may be a hot take, but... Yeah, because they don't show you his whole face, right? Imagine if he was a cartoon. Which... And he just leaves the animated series <laughs> randomly to go with the Shira or wh- whatever her name is. So, the, ah, man, go, go. <laughs> He's a Ralph Boner variant, says Disney. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Might as well. That, that would be that would actually be well played. Okay, everything on the on the table. Take everything that's off the table. Put it on the table now. Scotty, I got to start with you because you're chomping at the bit when I when I gave you guys the rundown for this. This wasn't on it, and then they released the trailer, so it was on it. And you are right away. You're like, ah, oh, who are we seeing in the multiverse of madness? Who? Who aren't we? Who? Who is? Who? <laughs> what? What? What are we in store for, Scotty? Um. Well, the Illuminati, which is huge. Uh huh. Um, and I think maybe like that castle could be a place outside of time. And I already know of one place outside of time. So I really think that like, it's a multiversal type of situation and they literally could be in place of the Kang castle, just a different look. And, uh, maybe Wanda, like, dude, they show so much. Wanda goes in there full bore in attack mode for whatever reason. They show multiple Wandas together. So obviously the Scar and dude, we gotta go through it because <laughs> the one of the more telling things to me was the Westview house. Mm-hmm. You have the Scarlet Witch on her knees in front of what we assume is the Wanda who's holding everybody hostage with the kids. And so is she realizing in that moment like that the kids are really an illusion and that's what drives her into the madness. But I I need dark Wanda. Like I need the Scarlet Witch Wanda that they need to fight, that Strange needs to stop. The scene with the two of them talking, and it's definitely an illusion. Like, the white trees are not white trees. He is in a dimension she has created. And the post credit scene for WandaVision, everybody assumed it was Vundagore Mountain, where the Darkhold was created. And I think she's going to reveal that that's exactly what it is. And when Strange gets there, we're going to see this whole like reality shift around. And yeah, it is not going to be good for any of the Avengers, for any of the... I think it's going to leave everybody in the worst state that the multiverse has been in. And I hope it ends that way. Like I hope it ends kind of like What If, where it was just like... And all the What If stuff's coming into play now, so... yeah. Man, I could go forever though. Phew. Steve, who's coming up in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Howard the <Yep>. Duck, bro. <laughs> all, all day. All day. <laughs> Do you think that they threw in evil Doctor Strange, like the, the, the one from the What If series? Just they, they, they thought, oh, he's getting over, he's getting popular, let's throw him into this? Or does he have a bigger part to play in the movie? I think he was in this before. What if, yeah. dude? Is he the one? Plan. Is he the guy that's trapped in the freaking thing? Like, isn't he supposed to be watching um, Killmonger and Ultron with all the Infinity Stones trapped in that thing? The Evil Strange was the one that was supposed to be watching that, right? Mm-hmm. That's how What If kind of played out. What if? If it's the same guy, I don't know. And they leave things out of trailers too. Mm-hmm. So like, is that Ultron going to get out? <laughs> well, like going into it, I thought, oh, Wanda's the bat. Wanda's the villain of this, for sure. But after seeing that trailer, I was like, eh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Not the. Dude, not yes, the, the not zombies. The, the zombies. Like, yeah. What do you think, James? I, I don't know what I think. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know what this movie is about. This is the. This is where my head's at right now. As I watch this trailer. And it sold me on going to see it. 
on a, on a multitude of levels. But I think, I, I think, I, I think that the Illuminati is going to play a larger role in this movie, maybe even going forward than we know. I don't know if they're always going to be at the forefront. Is not what I'm saying, but I think they're going to play a very large role. I think they are going to be villains of this in some capacity. Um, it'll be curious to see who else is with Professor X, whether it's a cartoon Professor X or not. Um, I know people are zooming and they're trying to figure it out. Is it Reed Richards, which has been rumored forever, which actually I knew we were getting this trailer because the rumor that I saw was that John Krasinski was going to be shown in this trailer as <laughs> a Captain American uh, variant, variant mm-hmm. which I didn't really believe. But, you know, it's fun anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I also think if you do that, cool, but also you piss off everybody that wants him to be Reed Richards. So you got to you got to if that's who he's going to be playing, you got to toe that line. But I I do think that Tom Cruise uh, Iron Man is uh, is on that Illuminati as well. Superior Iron Man is who he's going to be for sure. I think is that's Namor? Gonna... Lock it in. And Namor, yeah, for sure, because he's going to be a Black Panther too. So yeah, Namor, a hundred percent. And there was somebody else that you just said that, and now I completely forgot. Oh, Black Bolt will also be in there, right, Scotty? Because I just got kind of uh, announced. Doom. That. No Doctor way. You think so? Doom. The homie with the hood who's just sitting there. You see the hooded character. He's just chilling. He's not walking around. He's not doing nothing. He's just sitting there with the hood on. Hi, Gavin. He's just <laughs> sitting with I don't know. Hood. I don't think they can do I... Dr. Doom necessarily. But no. Well, they got Stewart in there. And if this is a higher, if this is a higher echelon of everything, you know, um, who are the people in charge of the uh, TVA? But they ended up being a ruse. But what the living tri not the living tribunal, those three guys help me out. I can't help you. <laughs> Anyways, in the Loki me. show, there's like the I'm Googling. the people <laughs> that are ab- above them all running it. I think that's very similar to the Illuminati. They understand the multiverse and the sacrifices that need to be made to maintain it. Okay. I think what Doom you... is a good possibility because we know that we know Fantastic Four is coming as John Watts. I, you could like any, I, and I'm not saying he's a key role or a big role, but don't forget the first time we saw Thanos, it was just like, like a, you know, he turned sideways. It was a small reveal, and it might not have to be that small, but you don't have to go into him right away. You just show him because this is the MCU. Mm-hmm. Whoever's watching this is watching the next thing. You can get away with that, right? You can have that tease. Uh, what were you going to say, Steve? Well, that's why I'm a little bit worried about uh, Patrick Stewart being portrayed as Xavier. Uh, I'm an X-Men guy. I love Patrick Stewart's perform- uh, portrayal of him, so I'm happy. That got me really excited. But you know, Patrick Stewart is 80, 81, and that, he's in that ballpark. Mm-hmm. How many movies does he have in him? And Marvel, the, Mar- the, the Marvel Universe isn't moving very fast right now. So we're, we, we're still not, we don't have an X-Men movie signed up to be next, you know, opening next year. We don't know where X-Men are still going to fit into this. Is it mistake? Is it a mistake putting Xavier or Patrick Stewart as Xavier versus say James McAvoy or, or a different, a different actor portraying him? What do you think? I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. And I'm going to, and this is why I'm going to say no, because a few years ago, Patrick Stewart turned down Kevin Feige to return as Professor X, if the rumors are to be true, and I'm going to go with they are, I think he's only back as for this, whatever this is, and this is going to be separate from his Professor X. So the animated series, I don't know if that's going to play out like that, but that makes more sense. I don't think he's in this for the long term. I think there will be a Professor X, and it will be somebody else. It might not be McAvoy, but it's going to be somebody else. I think he's just doing this um, as... Not as a send. I don't know what it is. he already did the send. He said no. I think this is like a one shot deal where he's like, I will come in and I will be your trans, your key to transition to the new era or whatever is going on. I don't think I don't think we're getting Patrick Stewart beyond this movie. I have a pretty hot take. No, oh! shoot. I don't think we're gonna get a majority of this Illuminati beyond this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I think. uh 
I think they show America Chavez trapped there in one of their prisons. And the premise of the movie is Wanda trying to find her kids. So what Wanda is uh, able to do right now is spiritually travel through the multiverse via the dark hold. It's believed that she can possess demons and control them. The Shuma Gorath, the one, the other um, mummified looking one that they showed in the trailer. But what she needs is America Chavez because she is able to physically bring Wanda into these other dimensions with her. Mm-hmm. So Wanda is going to eventually figure out how to get to where the Illuminati is physically in a physical form, discover that she's there. And then it's zero to a hundred because she knows this is I'm, I'm there. I'm seconds away from being able to go into this dimension Westworld or otherwise and get my kids and she's going to decimate everybody. Ha! Huh. All right. I'm and that's in. why they bring in I'm Xavier. In. That's why they bring yeah. in Black Bolt. That's why they bring in all these throwaway-esque characters. We think Mordo is one of them. So there's another guy who's just out here right. trying to kill wizards. No, yeah, that yeah. makes sense to me. I'm, I'm all yep. in on that also. And, it shows, and if it's shows. really just multiversal, it's all going to be reset anyways. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly, so, yeah. 